We're cave diving at Peacock Springs and you're looking at the bone shelf. It's a ledge where cave divers used to place things like animal bones. On a nearby wall, Richard points out a hole that even has a skull in it. And no, it's not real. Although I didn't pick it up to look at it, it's most likely just a toy or made of plastic. There are no human remains in this cave. We continue down the passage with Richard still in the lead until we make it to a point where we're going to take what's called a jump. In case you're not familiar, a jump is just another passage in a cave, usually with its own separate line installed. And sometimes we have to connect that line to the main one we're already on in order to have one continuous line back to the surface. If you're a cave diver and familiar with Peacock, this is the jump to P2 near the entrance on the Olsen line. Once Richard has the new line tied in, we'll okay it with our lights and then head down to start exploring. And this area already feels a little different than where we just were. The bottom seems more silty and the roof is a bit lower too, but definitely not too small. We swim through some twists and turns and I really like this area. There's even this neat little hole. I'll show you what it looks like at the bottom in tomorrow's video.